What happens when we avoid vulnerability, our own or others? You know, what happens when we move through the world and we don't let ourselves feel it? No intimacy. No intimacy. It's like love matters to us more than anything. I mean, sure, we're afraid of it more than anything, but it matters to us. And if we don't wake up out of that conditioning to keep at arm's length from the rawness, no intimacy, no connection really. Now, if we're fortunate, something about that lack of connection that lack of intimacy, that lack of realness. We don't feel real. It's like we're, we're kind of going through life, skimming the surface. We're not arriving with each other. And something about that starts to really eat at us, hurt us. Comes up as loneliness or separateness, anxiety, depression. Okay, a little parable for you. This is called the parable of the prickly porcupines. It was the coldest winter ever, so cold that many animals froze to death. In an effort to save themselves from this icy fate, the porcupines decided to gather together to fend off the chill. They huddled close to each other, covered and protected from the elements and warmed by their collective body heat. But their prickly quills would prove to be a bit of a problem in close proximity. They poked and stabbed each other, wounding their closest companions. The warmth was wonderful, but the mutual needling became increasingly uncomfortable. Eventually, they began to distance themselves one from another, scattering in the forest only to end up alone and frozen. Many died. It soon became clear that they would have to choose between solitary deaths in the frigid wilderness and the discomfort of being needled by their companions' quills when they banded together. Wisely, they decided to return to the huddle. They learned to live with the little wounds caused by the close relationship with their fellows in order to benefit from the collective heat they generated as a group. In this way, they were able to survive. The moral of the story? I think you know. It takes a certain amount of sensitivity, a a willingness to um, undress, to take off the armor, to be close, to feel the rawness, and also in order to also feel the truth of our belonging. It takes a willingness. And it actually takes an intentionality since we have to counter the conditioning to push away discomfort. Does that make sense? That we need to be intentional? Okay. So the path of compassion, in a nutshell, is letting ourselves be touched by suffering, our own suffering and the suffering of the world. Mm -hmm.